Well, with about 70,000 visitors in town, it only makes sense to wonder about the most popular Twin Cities tourist attractions. Yeah, we posed the question, and as Chris Schaefer found, CCO viewers answered with a resounding thumbs up for Mall of America. It's interesting to think about the amount of impact this relatively small piece of real estate has had on our community over the years. With the Vikings and Twins at Metropolitan Stadium and our beloved North Stars at the Met Center. This piece of ground in Bloomington was the focal point for Minnesota professional sports. But change is inevitable. And when the Vikes and Twins moved downtown and the Stars packed their bags for Dallas, some thought this property's heyday was over. Until a group of investors came up with a plan to build a shopping mall, not just any shopping mall, but the biggest in the country. A lot of people were naysayers, and they're, who's going to come to Minnesota to shop? Like, from around the world, how is this going to work? They broke ground in 1989 to build what many doubters called the Mega Mall. You don't like to be known as the Mega Mall anymore? Or? But on August 11th, 1992, with its 300 stores, indoor theme park, and nearly 10,000 new employees, this great experiment called Mall of America opened its doors. Oh my God, I'm so excited. <laughs> We're going to be 27 years old this summer, and we continue to invite 40 million visitors every single year from around the country and across the globe. To put it into perspective, 40 million annual visitors is more than Disney World and Disneyland combined. Yet with the online onslaught threatening brick and mortar's existence, how are they doing this? You know, mall is in our name, but we are so much more than a mall. We are an entertainment destination, and the key to our success is staying fresh, always having something new and exciting. So when visitors come back, they know that there'll be something for them to experience that they haven't before, whether it's a new retailer or a new restaurant to dine in. No doubt, the large anchor stores are a big draw for the mall, but it's the small specialty shops, like Michael Sidlachik's Worker Bee, that help round out the shopping experience. They see it and they walk in and go, wow, I've never seen a bee store or a honey counter, or this isn't a usual skincare product, you know, tell me more. It truly is a destination. With a vast array of dining opportunities, attractions, and activities, this place can be an awe-inspiring visit for anyone coming to the region. The best part about working here is seeing their faces for the very first time. And when they walk inside the mall, and especially inside Nickelodeon Universe, and they just have that sense of awe and excitement.